Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner performed by the Southmoreland Highlander Choir, Seniors, and the Symphonic Band. Followed by the Pledge of Allegiance recited by Mary Clawiter, Austin Hunker, Andrew Johnson, and Vincent Ledbetter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good evening. My name is Julia Davis, and I'm the class president and valedictorian of the class of 2022. I would like to formally welcome you to the commencement ceremony as we celebrate our seniors for their completion of high school. I would like to give a special thanks to the administration, especially Mr. Massa, Dr. Clara, Mr. Krofchek, and Mrs. Kulbank. Also, thank you to all the teachers and faculty who have made an impact on our class over the years. We appreciate everything you do for the students. Thank you to my family for everything they do for me and thank you all for being here to support the graduates during this milestone in their lives. Lastly, thank you to the students for the endless memories I've been able to create with you through the years. And now, please welcome the Southmoreland High School Symphonic Band to perform Sheltering Sky by John Mackey.
Please welcome the salutatorian, Bryson Thomas Montgomery. Good evening, class of 2022, members of the administration, faculty, staff, family, and friends. Well, seniors, we finally made it to one of life's milestones, high school graduation. I know what you all are thinking. We made it this far, now we have to listen to a long speech. Well, did you know that one of the most memorable speeches in, the, in US history, the Gettysburg Address, was only three minutes long? So I've decided to follow this in the steps of President Abraham Lincoln and take only a few minutes of your time to talk about what I would like each of you to take with you as you leave this chapter of your life 
and enter the next. You've all worked very hard to get to this point. If no one else has said this to you today, let me, let me be the first to say of how proud I am of all of you. These past few years have been very tough on us all. Living and learning during a global pandemic has not been easy, but it has made us stronger and has shown us that we can overcome any challenges that come our way. And I would say that is something to be proud of. After today, we will all go our separate ways. Some of us will move far away, while others may stay close to home. Some of us may continue our education, while others may join the military or the workforce. No matter what path you take, my hope is that you'll always be kind. In this world full of hate and anger, we need more kind people. Help somebody if you can. A person can have all the riches in the world, but if that person isn't kind, then all that success is worthless. Another hope I have for the class of 2022 is that each of you thank the people that have supported you and helped make today possible. I would personally like to thank my teachers, the administration, faculty, staff, and my fellow classmates. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my mom and my dad. They're both the biggest influences in my life, and I wouldn't be the person I am today without them. So thank you again, mom and dad. I also hope that you all continue to work hard to make your dreams come true. But please don't forget to enjoy life. Remember to slow down. You can't afford to lose a day or two. And finally, quoting one of my favorite musicians, Billy Joel. This is the time to remember, because it will not last forever. These are the days to hold on to, because we won't all the will want to. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2022. The South Moreland Graduation Choir will now perform Hallelujah, arranged by Roger Emerson.
please welcome the valedictorian, Julia Renee Davis. Well, class of 2022, we made it. Congratulations to each of you for putting in the work to be here today. For many of us, our journey together has been much longer than just high school. We've known each other since we were kids. We've laughed together, learned together, cried together, and grown up together. We've played in recess and competed against each other in elementary school fun days. While today we are celebrating the completion of these past four years, we are also celebrating our entire Southmoreland experience. A deeper look into our time in high school shows many firsts, many lasts, and multiple once-in-a-lifetime occurrences. Our high school career has been anything but normal, largely in part because of the pandemic. However, because of that, we've learned to appreciate every moment and learn independently, which is a very valuable skill to have in life. Going into our senior year, none of us knew what to expect. Thankfully, we were able to have our sports seasons, dances, concerts, and other events, making our senior year one to remember. Our class has thrived both in and out of the classroom. Many of us are student athletes, and a significant number of our sports made it to the playoffs this year. Two of our athletes reached the milestones of 1,000 points or 100 wins, and three of our teams made it to the state playoffs. Our marching band had a very successful season. Our seniors had, had outstanding performances in the school musical. We have been active in clubs, and our reading and Envirothon teams have represented our school well in competitions. I am proud of each of you for, your dedication, you, for the dedication you have shown to our school inside and out. While I'd gladly stand up here and continue to reminisce, it's important to take a look at our future as well. Today, we go from Southmoreland students to Southmoreland alumni. The ending to this chapter is bittersweet, but after today, we have the freedom to choose our own path, to choose what we do and who we want to be. Many of us will go off to the college, military, or workforce. Whatever you choose to do, you can make an impact. Make decisions that are smart for your future and the future of those around you. A common image used to represent this pivotal moment in our lives is a crossroad. During high school, we were all on the same road, the road to graduation. Now that we are here, there are so many options. We won't all pick the same road. We'll pick different paths and go our own ways. However, down the road, we'll have a class reunion or two, which will lead to our paths crossing yet again. So today, when you walk across this stage, don't forget where you came from. The road we've traveled together has been a long one, and the lessons you've learned will help you to grow into the person you want to be. This milestone in our lives is one I'm thankful to be celebrating with you. Thank you again to every teacher, administrator, and helping hand that has been there for me through high school. And thank you students for the friendships we've formed over the years. As your class president and valedictorian, I will continue to support you, and I'm excited to see the people you will, come, you will become. I'm proud of you, and so is everyone else here today. As I wrap up, I'd like to leave you with a quote from an author whose books we grew up reading. In the words of Dr. Seuss, you have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. It's up to you to make your life what you want it to be. Start now. Thank you and congratulations to Southmoreland's graduating class of 2022. Oops. Please welcome Superintendent Mr. Vince Masha. Good evening, graduates, parents, 
family, friends, school board members, faculty, staff, and administration. It is an honor to be part of this graduation ceremony as you, the graduates, finish one phase of your journey and get ready to begin your future endeavors. Graduation ceremonies are intended to recognize the accomplishments of our, our, of our students. Therefore, I will share a brief message with you, with you, then focus the ceremony back to where it belongs. I believe your teachers in this district have provided you the necessary skills to make you successful in whatever path you choose to follow. The past several years have been challenging in many ways, but I believe you have the capacity to confront these challenges and become future leaders in our town, county, state, country, and world. Why? Because you have been provided the prerequisite skills to identify problematic areas, analyze them, and decide on a course of action to solve these problems. Recovering from these past years will take individuals focused on what is morally and ethically right for others. Having the integrity to do what is right and not follow the wishes and desires of others will be extremely important. Hard decisions will have to be made, many of which will be criticized and not readily accepted. Stand strong and follow the values your family and friends have instilled in you and those that you have developed. Remember, you can be the person that makes a difference. Graduates, please remember that for 17 or 18 years, you were the central focus of your parents' lives. Speaking as a grandparent, I must include grandparents and other family members as being influences in your lives. They love you and want to see you be successful. They will continue to support you, but please let them continue to be a part of your lives, even during those times when you strive for independence and self-sufficiency. Listen to their advice and make choices based on the values and morals your parents and family instilled in you. Never forget your roots, but look to walk down new and exciting roads. Take the road less traveled, and maybe you will find a whole new world in front of you. Thank you for everything you have done for our schools and this district over your educational journey at Southmoreland. I want to leave you with a quote from the best-selling author, Patrick Ness. Everything's always ending, but everything's always beginning, too. Graduates, I wish you the best of fortunes in the years ahead. Take what you have learned and build upon that foundation to become the best possible person you can be. Parents, I wish you the best of luck in the changes you will face. Speaking from experience, these changes may be difficult at first, but take satisfaction in knowing your child will be successful. With your guidance and care, you have provided your child the foundations to achieve that success. South Moreland graduates, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Please welcome Principal, Mr. Dan Krofchak. Well, here we are, the presentation to the class, the last step before we get our diplomas. And I'm always honored uh, to serve as your principal in this capacity. This will be my 12th class that I've presented to the board uh, for graduation and I thought after 12 years uh, sometimes people say I'm a little long-winded uh, that I would shorten up it a, li a little bit so I thought I would create one of those remarks that you say a word and then you define each letter from the word and give you some deep definition so I chose pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism <laughs> As the gentle panda prepares for adulthood. No, not really. I try to keep it quick. As you embark upon your end of your tenure here, some of you are eager to graduate and move on. We're always ready for that next step. I can't wait until I graduate. 
I can't wait to get out of college. I can't wait to get a job. I can't wait to retire. Okay, that's everybody's goal. Uh, often in the goal, we often miss the point. So he here's a story that I have, um, I think makes a good point for that. Once upon a time in a small village, there was a wise man. Everybody knew him, but ironically, his son was lazy. Nothing was there to make a difference in his ignorant attitude. And as years passed, the old man got worried. Is my son even going to be able to, uh, to move on once I am gone? He said, Father, how am I going to manage without you? So he gave him this map and said, hey, I want you to go out and find a treasure. And I want you to go out and find this treasure and then come back to me and, and tell me what you found and this will be the key to happiness. So he sets out looking for this treasure and he keeps going out and goes on and on and he ignores all the people around him, doesn't help anybody, anybody along the way, gets to the edge of this cliff where the treasure was supposed to be and there's nothing there. So he's a little bit mad. Where's this treasure my, my dad sent me out? My father sent me out here to, to pick up this treasure. So he turns around and goes back. So this time around, he decided, you know what? I'm going to take my time because I'm in no hurry. I'll, I'll show the old man, you know, just what this is all about. So he sits and he watches the river. And then he looks at the streams and he looks at the sky. And he stops. He soaks in the wind. And he keeps on going. And this time around, he decides, you know what? I see somebody needs help. I got all the time in the world. I think I'll stop by and I think I'll help this guy out. Change his flat tire. So he gets back. He's devastated. He goes to his dad and says, what? Where's this treasure? I had this goal to go get this treasure and I come back. And I tell you what, on the way back it was a lot better when I wasn't trying to follow your rules. I was soaking it in, enjoying life, looking at the trees. He said, well, here's the thing, son. I know you're ignorant and lazy. Beside that, you found the treasure. What? Yeah, you found the treasure. The treasure was the things that you saw on the way back. The treasure was soaking it in, looking at the landscapes. I have a four-year-old daughter. I have a 17-year-old daughter, and I just try to, to soak in every moment of the things that they do in their lives. That's not part of this story. <clears throat> I did all those things the sun said on the way back home. I enjoyed my journey back and learned many new things. Exactly, my son. You want to know how to lead life and find your goals? If you only have one goal and you only focus on it, you're going to miss the point. You miss the real treasures because you're focused on finding that one single goal. The real goal to life is the underlying goal, and that is to live it, grow with it, and enjoy it. I know you all have goals. I've seen you working at them. You've done very well. Just remember, life is beautiful. Live it and soak it all in. Congratulations, class of 2022. Mr. Masha, I attest that these students seated before you have fulfilled the graduation requirements as established by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Southmoreland Board of Education. The members of the class of 2022 are now ready to receive their diplomas Mrs. Colbank, please prepare the roll call. Diplomas will be awarded by Mr. Vince Masha, Superintendent of the Southmoreland School District. Mr. Dan Krofchek, Southmoreland High School Principal. Members of the school board will then receive graduates. They are Mrs. Michelle Williams, President, Dr. Catherine Fike, Mr. Dwayne Frun, Mrs. Stephanie Geyer, 
Mr. Jason Polakowski, and Mr. Brian Shipley. Also participating from the administration are Dan Mr. Dr. Daniel Clara, Assistant to the Superintendent, Mrs. Tracy Kuhar Long, Southmoreland Elementary School Principal, Mr. Ron Haichu, South Mary, Southmoreland Primary Center Principal and Director of Special Education, and Mrs. Pam Mondock, Business Manager and Director of Transportation. Julia Renee Davis. Brighton Thomas Montgomery. Tyson Faye Martin. Grace Marie Spadero. Julia Annabelle Wadsworth. Connor Adabato. Raya Ekins. <laughs> Elizabeth Grace Albright. <laughs> Logan Ansel Andrews. <laughs> hey, hold on, wait, wait till I call your name. Corey Michael Ansel. Mercedes Bando. William Walter Benz. Sidonia Sue Black. Going through again? Jason James Bloom. What, middle name? Middle name? Ashlyn Ray Brannigan. Brianne Burkholder. Merrick Clawwitter. Michael Cochran. Cole Connors. Trent Cottom. Margot Kovaleski. Lillian Cunningham. Madison Seifert. Kaylee Davies.
Isaac Nathaniel Decker. Alicia Nicole Durr. Dalton Zachariah Diamond. David Michael Dugan. Austin Ernesty. Erica Renee Eicher. Elizabeth Grace Ellenberger. Rory M. Farrell. Maximilian Findenich. Congratulations. Colton Firmstone. Samantha Garstek. Bryn Elizabeth Glowacki. Austin Gearing. Anthony Michael Govern. Gianna Mary Greco. Evan Greco. Robbie Christopher Halinka. Noah Halstead. Sarah Jean Ham. Justin Samuel Harmon. Brennan Lee Hawk. Evan Thomas Hohall. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Asher Cole Houston. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sarah Jean Hickson. Isabella Charlotte Rival. Andrew Huff. Austin M. Hunker. Alexis Jacobs. Andrew Brown Johnson. Maxwell Cameron Johnson. Olivia Marie Johnson. Jaden Carl Jones. Karinchnak, right? Katie Ann Karinchnak. Shauna Nicole Keller. Lance Laney Adele Kerber.
Kaylee Keys. Michaela Keel. <laughs> Taylor Rain Klingensmith. <laughs> Caitlin Faith Cott. <laughs> Julia May Kramer. <laughs> Dylan Lane. Vincent C. Ledbetter. What's your, what's your last name? What is it? Alexander J. Litzinger. Kayla Lee Page Lobaugh. Autumn Lowry. Ella Renee McGeary. Mackenzie McGill. Reagan McKelvey. Riley McKelvey. Alexander James Mitchell. Dante Lee Moore. Kenneth Morris. Pearl Morris. Delaney Morbosch. Noah Morvosh. Lucas Malhorn. Xander Nedro. Madison Catherine Nicklow. Addison Taylor Knoll. Jacob Randall Palmasino. L. Ania Polakowski, presented by Jason Polakowski, her father. Hold on a second. Parker Wendell. Larissa Dawn Bozar. <laughs> Kiera Jade Wazaliski. <laughs> Madison Marie Williams. <laughs> Aiden Ryanna Cooper. Benjamin Joseph Yeski. 
Bryson Scott Robinson. Jason Moser. Maddox Smith. Kaylee Redman. Eric Barber. Students, you may now turn your tassels. It is with great pleasure that I present the graduates of Southmoreland High School Class of 2022.